Welcome to the Cinema 4D tutorial. I'll show you today how to set up joints and do a simple weighting with the joints on a mesh. You can use this for characters, animating characters, as well as a plethora of other objects. So to start, I'll keep it very simple. I'll just create a capsule by going up here and choosing capsule. This gives us plenty to work with. So to begin with, a mistake I always forget to do is make this capsule editable. So either click on this icon or go up to functions and make editable. You can see the keyboard shortcut is also C. So there are three different ways you can do this. So once it's editable, make sure object mode is selected. And now you're ready to add joints. To do this, you go up to character menu and select the joint tool. So now if I were to just to click around and add joints in 3D space, like, I mean this, it would look kind of good from this angle, but then, I mean, it's all crooked. We want it straight down the middle. So to do that, we want to go into one of our four views, not the perspective view, but instead a front, right, so view. I can do it right here just by clicking this, or I can click on this icon and select the front view here. So now the joint tool itself, you'll probably have a default of move. I've switched mine before. So what the move tool does is forces you to press control and click to create joints. But instead with the move tool, you can just click and move the joint without any keyboard shortcuts. If you have the draw tool on, which is what I'm going to use now, you can just click and create joints without having to do any fancy uh, keyboard shortcuts. And I'll undo that. So let's begin. We'll, we just want a simple rig to go down through the middle. I'll just make uh, three bones for, for now. So I'll click on the top and maybe right on there. And it doesn't have to be perfect or anything, just approximate. And now you can see it's right in the center, both on the front and right view. So it's perfectly aligned with the character. But if you notice, or if you try, moving the rig won't move the character. So what we have to do is we have to bind the bones or the joints, excuse me, to the character. So how we do this is we right click on the root icon and go down to select children. Then we want to pretty much select everything that we want to uh, connect. So we will press control and click on capsule. So also select this. Pretty, pretty much in this scene I'm selecting every object. It won't always be that way. Then you move up here to character menu and all the way down to bind and click on that. Now the moment you bound it you see on the capsule, you see that the capsule is now uh, parent to another object, a skin object. We won't be doing much with this. And it also has this auto weight thing. So now if I were to rotate, you can see it moves the capsule. But it does look kind of odd. I mean, if I were to rotate here, it's going very, it's very concave right here, which I not, might not want. So. If we want to fix the weighting, you can click oops, on the character and weight tool. And now you see the object has gone all black, except for this section where it's white, pretty much. The whiter it is, the more, uh, the more it is moved by that bone. So by c having this weight tool selected, over here in the attributes manager, let me pull that up. You can select the strength, so make it 100, 0, I'll keep it right around 20. You can have it add or erase all of these. I usually only use add or erase, so add for example, and then just selecting here will make it all nice and white. Or erase, and it will take away that strength and make it very blackish. So for example, if you want to see how this works, just go back into your rotate tool and rotate this. And you see on this side nothing's really being moved while on this side a bunch is being moved and it looks even more ugly than before. So let's go back into the 
weight tool and let's undo that. So say I wanted maybe a little less around here. Let me see. Yeah. Oops. Around in this area. So I'll pick the race and maybe change that to 10% and zoom in a little bit and I'll switch my view maybe. And the display so you can see the shading and maybe select this kind of area right around here. I don't know how good this will look, probably not very good at all, but it's just an example. Yeah, that doesn't look good at all. So now that we've done that, you see this whole area is darkened, it, the bone will have no effect on it. So let's go into Rotate Tool, which is R for Keyboard Shortcut, and move it. And yeah, as you can see, it collapses right in on itself. So if you were to render that, it wouldn't look pretty at all. It kind of looks like a face. But that's beside the point. So that's pretty much the basics of creating joints and moving objects with them. You can use them on characters like I have in this one. This is far from being completed. It's a game character I'm trying to create. And as you can see, here's the body with all the components on it. And then here's the root with every single bone. Yeah, it's a lot of bones. But I can control pretty much how each of these will work. So f to give you an example, um, I can rotate this upper arm however I want it. And as you can see, it kind of collapses in on itself here in the back. And if I were to move it down, we'll do the same thing, kind of collapse right in there. So I'm going to do that. But you, you get the idea, and it does take some time to align all the joints to where the mesh should be, and then especially do the weighting. So let me find the weight tool. Oops. And as you can see, I've weighted this specific area just for the right upper arm, and then like right lower arm, and then of course all the fingers. Uh, where are they? have been separately weighted, which does take a lot of time, but if you pull it off correctly, it, it does save you a lot of time when animating, instead of just grabbing, um, instead of just grabbing one point here and then moving it around and re, pretty much re-sculpting the mesh for every frame of the animation. So that's about it for this tutorial, hope you enjoyed it.